Okay, now we're going to take a look at the front squat. As you can see, the athlete's got himself uh, positioned just as he did in the back squat, uh, but now the, the bar is actually resting just on his shoulders. Um, what you can't really see is his hands are nice and loose. Um, the shoulders are really what's supporting the weight. Um, this is something that athletes really struggle with at first. His elbows are really high. His chest is tall. Um, he's in a good position. Feet again are shoulder width apart, slightly tilted out so that the knees can track. And then as you see, um, just like the back squat, his first movement now is going to be to slide the hips back. And you can see Tom does that right away, pretty pronounced. As he descends down, um, some of those same cues from the back squat are going to be true of the front squat. We've got to keep our knees out, strengthen our hips, get to that parallel position. Um, keeping our elbows up, that's going to be a challenge. This really is a, st a stressor not only on our, our, our lower body, but also really going to strain um, your midsection, your core, really to be able to support the weight and drive out of this position. His knees are tracked right over the toes. He bounces and drives, keeping his chest up the whole time. This is a really good example here, guys. Um, I'm going to show you one more time now at full speed here, um, just so you can get a feel for how fast Tom is really doing it. He bounces right up. That again is the front squat. We're going to use a bunch of different variations, but that's the, the basic front squat that we'll be using.